All right, what's going on? Week 7, rookie left tackle breakdown. The return of Mekhi Becton. That's the storyline. I spent a good amount of time on Becton, the return of him. Some ups and some downs, um, but you see the reasons you like him. Wills had uh, an okay, nothing special, but an okay game. And Thomas probably had his worst game, and we're, we're going to spend a good amount of time on Andrew Thomas. So we'll go Becton, Thomas, and then Wills. So anyways, uh, make sure to like, subscribe. I appreciate if you subscribe. We're going to try and do more and more like total NFL content because um, I know this is mostly a Giants channel. But we're trying to do more and more NFL content. So I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe. It helps us with the like button. I, I don't really care about the like button, but do it. Um, so yeah, let's get let's start it off with Mikai Becton. All right, the return of Mikai Becton, New York Jets left tackle out of Louisville. He was injured. Uh, he got injured in the Colts game. They tried to play him a little bit in the Broncos game. Hasn't played since. Came back, played this full game. And he is the most fun out of these guys to watch. We're, we're going to get into some stuff that he struggled with in the past game. Um, he did give up a sack and a couple other plays that weren't good. But he is the most fun to watch. He, he He's the most fun to watch because he just bullies people. and that That's how we'll start it. We're going to go through some run plays. This is a play action. But it just, it's kind of like a highlight reel of just watching a left tackle bully people. And it's fun. I mean, watch what he does to 90. I mean, he gets him airborne. Let's see if we can get an airborne still shot. I mean, he's in the air right now. I guess it's not the greatest angle for 90. <laughs> but he just, like, that's something you do with your little brother. That's something you do with your little brother. I love it. Now he's working up to this linebacker. Nice, slow, choppy feet. Bam. Bounces that guy back. Bam. I mean, he's just bullying this NFL linebacker. I mean, look what you look look where the play is, and look where this linebacker who started it right here is. I mean, that's beautiful stuff in the run game. Beautiful stuff in the run game. Next play, uh, we're just blocking out. Just watch this punch. Bam! His punch is so good that it almost screws him up because he gets so much separate. He doesn't stay engaged because he just has this nasty punch. Again. Bam. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a guy with a nasty punch like that in the NFL. Bam. It's not even great technique. He's just a bully. Just can bullies dudes. I, I it's unreal what this guy does in the run game. It's unreal. Then you let him pull a little bit. Bam. Gets he gets tripped up. But good stuff. Honestly, and we'll we'll get into some bad right here if I were the Jets I get the Jets have a lot of needs but my goal would be to get a dominant run blocker in the, at left guard just so you could say you have like the best of something in the NFL like we have the best run blocking left side in the NFL because you have all the potential in the world with this guy now with that being said let's get into some past stuff um some some bad habits so first your jump setting here I get it's a play action but you got to realize with everyone out here that he's probably going to jump inside. And you have to protect that. With this guard pulling, because it is a play action, you have to protect that inside. You have to protect that inside. He doesn't. The center can't is not going to come back uh, uh, to that backside with no one in the gap. Gets beat inside. And he gives up a sack. Now they give up a sack on the other side. It probably only counts as a half a sack. But it's just simple. He You can't jump set right there. Maybe that's coaching. But nonetheless, gets beat by, for the sack. So not good right there. This is actually not even a bad play. I just want to point out something. Watch his feet. They're so skinny together. Now, he's a big dude and he's got upper body strength. So sometimes, it, most of the time, it doesn't matter. But his feet are clicking. You don't want your feet clicking like that. That's how you, like, that, that skinny base, that's how you get bull rushed into the back of your quarterback. Now, he's he's got a lot of upper body strength. This just opens his hips a little too early. You're, you're big enough to where you don't need to do that, man. Doesn't really give like a, a really... A, it's more like hand play than a punch. Gets around the edge. Darnold gets the ball out. I mean, let's let's see the, the, the depth on it. It's getting around that edge at 7-8 yards. 
like I said, I mean, you're able to operate like that, but that's not good. Again, off of the edge. He's getting around that edge at six, seven yards. Basically, it protects the inside. But at three, four yards, you've already opened up. And that's how you get yourself in trouble. Gets around the edge. Now, everything gets blown up in front of Sam Darnold. But that's... I don't know if he gets credit for that sack, but... Um, probably shouldn't, honestly, because it was, it was worse in front of him. But nonetheless, that guy does get around the edge. Again, he opens his hips a little too early. He's working on 21, a safety. You got to think that maybe they're going to try something inside here. You got to think that this guy's not going to take you one-on-one. -on -one. And the way this guy's playing, that you want to punch, come down on this, and they're going to try some looping thing. Just over sets. This is a stunt. And gets beat. What you want to do is you kind of got to have a feel for, for something here. So if you stay square here, you're able to push him off. You're supposed to you could get hip to hip, push him off, and then take over 61. And then the guard is able to pick up the stunt. I mean, everything else is bad on the Jets, so it's hard for me to be mad at Becton. Here, stays, opens up his hips a little bit. Just kind of leans on the end of this. Gets beat by the spin move. Honestly, right there is fine. You kind of want to, you know, hand, you know, just kind of move him with your hands. That was, I mean, that was kind of a nice spin move by 97. All right, let's get into some of the good stuff, though. Gets that inside move. Great job mirroring. Keeping your feet wide. Using your hands. Just controlling him with, your, with his strength. Just never, guy never gets, ne, guy never has a chance. This next play, he does, a, he, I like this, man. He just looks in control. Where it's like this punch, it's not like a violent punch, but when they're trying to use his hands, just watch his hands. He's basically holding hands with the other guy, and he's just like hand play. Just kind of in control with it. You know what I'm saying? Just holding those hands. Hand control. 97 probably feels like a little child right there. That's good stuff. Again. The feet are clicking. The hoops are a little bit open. So it's not perfect, but that's stuff you work on. And then just, like I said, that hand play. Ball's out early on this one, but just nice hand play. Knowing how to use your hands. Controlling a guy with your hands. I mean, look. Looks like they're playing, you know, ring around a rosy, pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes. The defensive end falls down. All right, that was corny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I shouldn't have done that. You got this next play. Just a nice punch. Kick, kick, kick. Bam. Like I said, I don't like that the feet are clicking. Like, look how close those feet are together. I don't like that. But he's got so much strength, man, that sometimes it just doesn't even matter. Just a nice punch. Bam. Good stuff there. Next play. So just calm and in control. Just kind of like that's like that should be a loss right there. Good job mirroring. In control. It's not his fault that everything over here screwed up. I feel bad for fourteen. I really do. You know, maybe the Jets end up moving on from him, but. I, I would I will be intrigued to see what he does where he does somewhere else. Anyways, good game for Mikai Beckton. I don't even know if if the injury is still bothering or whatnot. It seemed like they gave him some time to come back after trying to force him in that Broncos game. But all in all, you feel pretty good about Beckton, even though there was some stuff that wasn't so great in the past game. But he's he's a highlight film in the run game. All right, Andrew Thomas, week seven versus the Eagles. I think this is safe to say that this was his worst game. This was his worst game. He gave up two sacks. Had a couple other plays that could have been sacks. 
And he's just kind of getting beat with the same stuff, man. So, I mean, let's just go through it and we'll, we'll, we'll talk it out as we go. But first play. When he punches, man, it's, it's, it's almost like these defensive ends are their game plans. Like as soon as he punch punches, use that inside move. Cause he's not protecting on the inside. He's not. He seems like he's expecting in that right foot. Look how t big that is. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be taking your foot. Shouldn't be that coming far in the air. And it swings back, and now he's got a path to the quarterback. Now, the running back helps out on this play. But, geez. Here is a... Well, they give up a sack. Like I said, as soon as, as, soon as that punch comes, they're going inside on a spin. And the right tackle gives up a sack, too. The rookie pair... I mean, let's see. I feel like that's you're just punching too early. He's expecting guys to come right in him, and, and that's not what's going to happen. They're going to go outside of him or go inside. He gives up a sack. Next play again. As soon as they punch, they, he's going. They're going inside. And honestly, his punch is too wide. That's a, that's another thing too. And that's something that was definitely known at Georgia. Something that even Colombo, the offensive line coach, said worked. So you're punching outside, and then they have their arms inside. And then they're, the, his, they're able to use their hands to swipe your hands off and, instead of the opposite way. And watch that right foot swing back. Now Jones makes a crazy play on this. But it's kind of the same stuff. Which is, honestly... As bad as it is, it's actually kind of encouraging. It's like, all right, work on this, work on this. You know, spend the off season, you know, nailing this down, which can which can be done. Like people think that is like, oh, this is this is who he is. I don't agree with that at all. I don't agree with that at all. Again, watch the right foot. Big swinging. As soon as that punch goes, they're going inside, whether it's a spin. Honestly, now I'm a dummy. But I if I'm his O-line coach, what I'm saying is, one, we need to work on not punching too early. But because they're doing that, my thing is saying, as soon as you punch, power that foot down. And if they go outside, you're athletic enough to wash them. You're athletic. To, he's, he's not just going to get beat. Like the only play where he got beat around the edge really badly this year was against Dallas. Now, there's some other plays where he gets around the edge, but he's not getting beat around the edge. You know, so it's not a matter of, oh, they're just, it's, it's the speed. So I'm telling him, as soon as you punch, power have that your right foot power down. And if that forces him outside, you wash him out. Yeah, will Jones maybe float back sometimes and you'll get yourself in trouble? But let your QB get the... I don't. I, that's. I mean, that's what I'm teaching him to do. Honestly, here, not a bad rep, but again, that punch is just too. It's coming from out way outside of his shoulders, where it should be. In, it should. His hands should be on his numbers, and firing out. So you know that that's not a bad rep, but as it's, it's, you see the stuff that gets them in trouble. This one, he protects his inside. Watch the right foot. You see right there, he protects against it. So good stuff there. I mean, that's a good. That's what we want to see on a consistent basis. Let's. I mean, let's replay that again. As soon as he punches, watch. See on this one. As soon as he punches, he's got that foot down, and it's not perfect, but it gets the job done. That's that's what if I if I'm Colombo. That's what I'm teaching him. That's what I'm teaching him. Here. This is... Um, okay, this one. This one he ends up going to... The defensive end pops out, so he's going to be a defensive tackle. And this is an example of what he did in college. Where it's like, this guy already has inside leverage. This guy should win this. But Thomas, just... It's not pretty, but he's able to come back in front of that. And then he goes outside and he washes him out. That's the Andrew Thomas that got drafted him fourth overall. 
Now it's against a defensive tackle. It's not against a defensive end, and that's why his one of the guys that was training him, you know, former you know coach of the Bengals for a long time, his O line coach Paul Alexander said he needs to do the same stuff he did at Georgia. It's like I, I kind of disagree with him because you can't like they're, they're like they're, they're teaching him new things. He's punching like a you know like a machine gun. These rapid punches. It's like they're doing that to try and fix his issues to get him dominant, not just passable, to get him to that point. That, but that right there is what we saw from Jordan. That's what makes you, that's what made him the fourth overall pick. Now here, people are gonna be mad. At this say this guy's lost. He thinks this is a, he sees this as a stunt because he's going in and ninety three is going going out. And his eyes, he's like, I gotta pass this down, and he's looking here. But the linebacker blitzes, and he just misses it, and that's bad. That's bad. That's really, really bad. But I will say, and you'll see here, these two have been pretty good for the most part this year picking up stunts. I feel like that's actually been a positive of these two. They've done a good job picking up stunts. You see him do it here. So I wouldn't be too worried about that. It was bad. You know, you, one is more than you should have, but I wouldn't be too worried about that. In the run game last week against the 49ers, we saw where he got beat on the backside. They are doing something that he did at Georgia. This little this club move, and I love it. I love it. It's forcing a guy to get up upfield when you're the backside instead of doing a hinge block. Do the club, force him out. Does it again? Bam. I like that. There's one other play I didn't clip it. I like that kind of stuff. I like that. I like that they're doing that, changing stuff, doing stuff that gets comfortable with. He's been very good in the run game. I will say that he's been pretty impressive in the run game. He moves guys. Um, he doesn't have that like crazy punch that Becton has but he moves dudes now here he's getting a cross face and this is something we talked about with all these guys struggling with this was probably the best rep out of all three of them all year in crossing face I mean that's <laughs> that's speed and agility that's what that's why I liked him so much speed and agility and just walls him off that's beautiful right there that's beautiful right there here's one I don't know if this was uh, on purpose or not, but let's since he had a rough game, let's 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 chalk him up this one. This defensive end b- bumps down, so Caden, the tight end, is going to get beat inside. What I like about him is he stop, he helps his guy out instead of letting his guy just get beat and being like, "Not my problem." Wham, and then Hernandez pops off, and then he gets heavy on this guy and creates that hole. He creates that hole. Because if he doesn't help out the tight end, the tight end gets beat, you know, gets his face crossed and gets beat. And if he doesn't get back over in time, this guy wins. So, you know, it's a four, it's a four or five yard game, but that's a win. I give that, I count that as him as a, as a win. Oh, we're starting over. I was like, what is this? <laughs> All right. So anyways, rough stuff, man. I, the people, the sky falling crowd, I, I'm not with you. There's definitely some concerns, but I think if this guy has a good work ethic, I think it is stuff he will work through. Jedrick Wills, Week 7 versus the Bengals. Nice win by the Browns, by the way. Nice win. Nice, some nice, nice throws by uh, by number 6. Anyways, this game was pretty good from Wills. Um, nothing nothing where it's like, oh, that was... I can't believe he got blown away on the play. He got beat on some pass reps, which we'll go through. But overall, you see the things that you like about Wills is these feet... These active feet and these active hands. Um, the run game for Cleveland is a little different where it's not like, hey, we're running off your ass kind of stuff. So there's not a ton we're going to go through in the run game today because a lot of times it's just he's he's blocking the backside on an outside zone. Again, we went through that. Um, so anyways, let's let's get into it. Play one. Let's get through some of the – let's do some of the good stuff. Now, this isn't a perfect rep, but I like it. Watch the feet. So he pops out, so he's got the head up. Now watch this right foot. He's still inside shoulder of him. Doesn't give up the inside. And then this isn't a perfect rep because he does have to like cross his feet and like kind of just athlete run back. But he gets back, gets set, doesn't let the guy get in his chest, chest, good hands. Bam. Balls out. Next play, something similar. Where he's got this inside, he's got this guy on the inside. Bam, gets right in front of him. Now he's going to go back outside. 
That left foot, I mean, just nice feet. Calm, cool, and, and in control. I mean, just make makes it look easy. Makes it look easy. This play, just good hand fight. That left hand, pitch that left arm, get those hands off you. Uses that right hand to swipe those hands off you. And make this defensive end have to instead of trying to get to the pass rusher, I'm gonna try and I'm trying I'm gonna try and bat the ball. Again, good hand fight. Gets a little hands to the face. Alright, I just sneezed and I didn't want to edit, so I held it in. <laughs> Alright. Good. Use those hands. Now he gets hands hands to the face, gets his helmet knocked off, but watch the hands. Puts gets those hands right off of them. Screw that helmet. I don't need that helmet. Gets those hands off. Using those hands. Nice base and control. Gets a little beat on the inside at the end, but the play's over at that point. Now this is where some stuff where Montez Sweat got Wills. Bam when he's not long that long arm bench press around the edge. And look, everyone else on the offensive line is nice and square. Conklin's nice and square. He's got his hips turned. So at this point, and you you know you don't you have you know the 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 defensive end is kind of like bench pressing him in, and this is where Will's arms being you know a couple inches shorter than some defensive ends could get him in trouble a little bit. And then at this point, this defensive end is just going where Baker's going. Swims. He I mean he's got his hands fully extended. He's doing whatever he wants. Swims gets the QB hit on on Mayfield. Where Wills has been good, like we just said, is I get that, and he's a little off balance because he gets bench press. But swipe that hand off of you. Swipe the hand off of you. You don't have to get. You don't have to punch him in the chest. Just swipe the hand off of you. Again, kind of similar. Very similar. Now he's got a nice. Like I said, look, everyone else's hips are square. Conklin does a good job powering down. But with when you jump set like that. It kind of can get yourself in trouble because at three, four yards of depth, he's bending the corner on you. And he just bench presses, gets him off balance, moves inside. A, a very weak QB hit on that one. Again, jump set, good punch. Good punch, getting him off you. Very good. But the thing is, is when you open your hips that early... And we're opening the hips at at three, four yards. Those hips are totally, he's completely sideways. So you have a path to the quarterback. QB steps up. I mean, at, at, the, end of, at the end of Baker's drop, he's like, okay, I've got him. I can either just, if he doesn't, st if he steps up, I'm going to do what I do. He's stepping up, use that left hand. Just keeps those arms off of those uh, those strong hands of wills off of them. All right, some uh, run run game stuff very quickly. Nothing crazy. Just got the down block on here. Wham, <laughs> whams the guy. Fits him on his ass, and then goes and tries to make a play on a linebacker. Good stuff. That's how you that's how you spring a big play. That's how you spring a big play. They let him pull here. I don't think he does the right responsibility. Because right here, I'm looking at this, and he's either, I think he should go up to here, or up in this hole, even though Najoku does a bad job, but I like that he's like, okay, Najoku's probably going to get beat inside, so he just whams his ass. <laughs> um, they played it tight off of the backside, and the tight end isn't able to keep that inside, so the running back's kind of screwed either way, and so he just has to bounce it, but I like that he just whams it. And then here in the screen game, gets downfield, makes a play. That's a nice job. Bench presses him, gets him off balance. So good, good stuff from Wills in week seven. This isn't the game that I'm super excited about Wills for, but overall good stuff. All right, that's the week seven rookie report. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you like this stuff, subscribe. Um, like all that stuff will be, you know, continue to do videos. If you're a Giants fan, you know damn well you need to subscribe to this. Other fans, stay subscribed. We're going to be doing some draft stuff after the season and some overall NFL content. Anyway, so hope you enjoyed it. 
Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, later today. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I don't know. I just start. I really am like the. I start. I start a sentence and hope it goes somewhere, and it doesn't. And it just doesn't. So, anyways, appreciate uh, giving this a watch. Let's go NFL. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing right now.